Hello, and welcome back to the Book Fox Summaries bringing literature to life one summary at the time. Can't tackle that TBR pile? Don't have time to read? We've got you covered, so grab a kappa, get comfy, and join us on this incredible journey through the world of literature. Today, we're delving into the breakthrough strategies of David Allen's Getting Things Done, The Art of Stress-Free Productivity. Dive in with us as we explore the art of achieving more with less stress. David Allen proposes a simple premise. Our productivity is directly proportional to our ability to relax. When we hear the word productivity, we often associate it with relentless work, copious amounts of caffeine and late night brainstorming sessions. But David Allen, a veteran coach and management consultant, presents a rather counterintuitive approach. He believes that our ability to be truly productive is intertwined with our capacity to relax. Imagine a serene lake, its surface perfectly smooth and still. This calmness allows it to clearly reflect the world around it. Similarly, when our minds are calm and relaxed, they can reflect, process, and organize thoughts more effectively. This clarity of mind is the foundation of Allen's productivity principle. Allen's concept of productivity is not about doing more. It's about doing what matters most, efficiently and effectively. It's about making the best use of our mental and physical energy to achieve our goals. It is not merely about ticking off tasks on a to-do list, it's about aligning our daily actions with our long-term vision. To achieve this, we need to have organized thoughts. But how do we organize our thoughts in this fast-paced world brimming with information overload? Alan suggests that we need to get things out of our mind and capture them in a trusted system. This could be a notebook, a digital tool, or anything that works for you. The goal is to clear your mind from the constant reminders of tasks and ideas, allowing it to focus on the task at hand. The state of relaxation is not about inactivity. It's about being in a state of controlled attention and focus. When we are relaxed, we are in a better position to handle the demands of our work, deal with interruptions, and make decisions. It's about having a clear mind that can effectively navigate the labyrinth of productivity. In the journey of productivity, remember that your mind is a thinking tool, not a storage device. It's designed to generate and play with ideas, not to hold them. In Alan's words, your mind is for having ideas, not holding them. One of the key strategies Allen suggests is the do it, delegate it, defer it, drop it rule. This rule is a cornerstone of Allen's philosophy towards achieving stress-free productivity, and it's a simple yet powerful tool to clear your mind and your inbox. Let's break it down. The first D is for do it. If a task takes less than two minutes to complete, Allen suggests you should do it immediately. Whether it's replying to an email, making a quick call, or jotting down an idea, these small tasks can quickly pile up and become overwhelming. By dealing with them instantly, you eliminate the stress of a mounting to-do list. Next up is delegate it. If a task can be completed by someone else, hand it over. Delegating is not about shirking responsibility, but rather about recognizing where your time is best spent. Whether you're a manager, a parent, or a team member, Understanding what tasks to delegate can free up your time for more important things. The third D stands for defer it. If a task isn't urgent, or if it requires more than two minutes to complete, defer it. Schedule a time to tackle it later. This allows you to focus on what's important now, without forgetting about what needs to be done in the future. The final D is for drop it. If a task isn't necessary, or if it doesn't contribute towards your goals or well-being, consider dropping it entirely. Remember, it's okay to say no to tasks that don't serve you. By applying the rule of do it, delegate it, defer it, drop it, you're not only clearing your inbox but also your mind. You're making room for what really matters, allowing you to achieve effective productivity and unleash your creative potential. As Alan says, you can do anything but not everything. So why not give the rule of 4Ds a try? It might just be the key to unlocking your stress-free productivity. Alan doesn't shy away from acknowledging the feelings of confusion, anxiety, and being overwhelmed that often accompany productivity. In the world of productivity, these mental roadblocks are not uncommon. They're the unwanted guests that show up uninvited, making every task feel like climbing a mountain. But the beauty of Alan's philosophy lies in not just recognizing these obstacles, but also providing practical advice on how to overcome them. Alan suggests that the key to overcoming confusion is clarity. When we're clear about what we want and what steps we need to take to get there, confusion dissipates. It's like turning on a flashlight in a dark room. Suddenly, everything becomes visible, 
and the path forward becomes clear. As for anxiety, Allen argues that it often stems from feeling overwhelmed with too many tasks. His solution? Break them down. Instead of looking at a project as a mammoth task, he advises us to dissect it into manageable action steps. Each small step leads to another, and before you know it, you've scaled the mountain. Staying focused in changing situations, according to Allen, is all about reassessing and realigning your goals. It's about being flexible and adaptable, ready to pivot when necessary. It's not about rigidly sticking to a plan, but about adjusting the sails to move in the direction of your goals, no matter how the wind blows. And what about that overwhelming feeling of having too much to do? Alan's advice is to feel fine about what you're not doing. It's about understanding that you can't do everything at once and accepting that some things will have to wait. It's about prioritizing and focusing on what's most important now. In the end, overcoming obstacles in productivity is not about eliminating them, but about learning how to navigate through them. It's about understanding that these feelings are part of the process and using Alan's advice to move forward one step at a time. Remember Alan's words, you don't actually do a project, you can only do action steps related to it. Getting things done offers a transformative approach to work, teaching us how to pick up the pace without wearing ourselves down. This philosophy by David Allen has resonated with tens of thousands of people across the globe, and it's easy to see why. In a world where yesterday's methods don't hold up, Allen's breakthrough techniques for stress-free performance offer a refreshing path. We've covered a lot in this video, from the premise of productivity to the rule of four Ds and overcoming obstacles. Allen's methods are not just about doing more but about achieving more by doing less and doing it stress-free. His rule of do it, delegate it, defer it, drop it is a game changer, turning overflowing inboxes into organized task lists. His strategies help us reassess our goals in changing situations, plan and unstuck projects, and overcome feelings of confusion, anxiety, and being overwhelmed. But perhaps most importantly, Alan teaches us how to feel fine about what we're not doing. Because productivity isn't about doing everything, it's about doing the right things at the right time in the right way. And when we can do that, we don't just get things done, we get them done without the stress. This book is more than just a guide, it's a transformational toolbox for anyone who wants to work smarter, not harder. And it's a reminder that the key to productivity lies not in doing more, but in doing less with more focus. Before we go, we ask for your help. Please subscribe to our channel. With your subscription, you are helping us to have the power to create more summaries. Comments and recommendations are welcome. Hit the like button, share with friends, and turn on notifications to stay in the loop. Remember, as David Allen said, much of the stress that people feel doesn't come from having too much to do. It comes from not finishing what they've started. So start by hitting that subscribe button. See you next time.